Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your queen, Divine Mother Goddess Yamaya, and I am coming to you all with an intuitive message as your intuitive guide for your reading for today. Today is August 26th. It is Friday, and I am coming to you with um, a reading for my fire signs, and that is going to be for Leo, um, Ari well, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius like to say it in order this is a different read it's a bonus read for today because i was not able to um get the messages out um for you all um yesterday in a timely fashion thanks to my internet being down and so i just wanted to make sure that i keep my word with you and make sure that you get a reading um for each day and so I told you that I would give you two, and this is your second one. So um, I'm going to be doing it a different in a different way by doing the elements. And so now I'm currently doing the fire signs. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you all for um, coming to me um, for your messages for today. I appreciate you all. For some reason, the guys ended up having this card come upside down. Some of them are reversed, some are upright. So that's how they are meant to come out. Um, I am first and foremost getting the high honor card at the bottom of the deck, which tells me that you are someone who is, um, you know, very well respected in your community. Someone who um, could be, you know, really wealthy, but um, for the most part, really respected. You could be a boss. You could be a business owner. You could be someone who's a leader um, just overall in general. Um, you can have a really high status, um, you know, position in the um, community as well as in society as a whole. You are definitely um, someone who is either really mature and wise or someone who's just an older gentleman who is um, very knowledgeable, has a lot of insight, a lot of information, has been around a block a few times. And I don't mean just like in the, in the essence of, you know, um, sleeping around with other women or anything like that with a bunch of women. I just generally just mean that you have a lot of, you know, experience. Um, we have toil and labor on reverse. And what I'm getting from this is just like you're someone who didn't have to work really strenuous jobs. If anything, you were born into a family that was really wealthy and because of that or just well off to where you didn't have to work really hard in order for you to get to the positions that you were able to get to you could have been someone who got to your position because it was you know your family knew someone or it wasn't by inheriting right um you could have inherited a, um, a business you could have inherited you know um their their wisdom in general to get you to um or you know their experience in general to help you enable you to get to your position or get to like starting a business up for yourself with the intellect that they had passed on to you we have the lovers um so <laughs> funny thing that i was mentioning that you don't have to wouldn't have had to have been around the block a few times in order for you um for you know that to be your situation but you definitely could also be someone who have had a lot of women in your past um we have the privileged lady coming out in um you know upside down in reverse to where it's like you can have a woman that's in your in your life who is not um, you know, really respectable or they have a hard time. Um, they're not who they say they are. They could, you know, be come from a hard, a hard background. This could be someone who you have been with or someone who you um, fancy, someone that you like, someone who you view as a romantic partner, but you could come from wealth and they could come from being poor or happen to work, you know, it could just be different from how you were raised up. You could have been raised up where everything was passed down to you. As far as how you started your business, your father could have helped you. Your mother could have helped you. Whereas this privileged lady was not a privileged lady. Instead, she had to work hard for wherever she got to and where she, you know, how far she has come. High honor again, you're someone who comes from a family that is wealthy a family that's well respected and you are someone who is well respected within your family dynamic we have the courthouse in reverse so um this um this situation is basically like um 
I'm kind of getting what I'm getting is that without looking in the book is that this person or you could have been someone who um, could have possibly been facing going to court at some point, um, but everything changed where you didn't have to go. Um, but I'm going to also look it up just to be sure um, that what I'm mentioning is right. You guys could have been, you know, in a in a in a relationship, and your family didn't support it just because of the background that this person came from versus yours. They could have looked down on this woman, and so instead of them allowing you to be with this person, they could have told you you can't be with this person. They didn't want you to. They could have looked at you as, um, you know, childish um, for, you know going towards this person could have looked at you as someone who lacked you know intellect in that department when it came to making decisions um and choices for the person that you or want to date and so they felt like they had to step in and make decisions for you your father could have been the one who told you um you know who to date and who not to date and he could have been the one who told you to go against this relationship not not to go towards this person as well as you could be someone who has a child on the way or someone who has children or like i said um this was your father involved in this situation with the choices that you made when it came to this relationship main female this person was not able to be um, your girlfriend, your woman. Um, you guys weren't able to go take things serious because, you know, your family didn't respect it. Your family didn't approve of it. Distant horizons. Um, you guys weren't able to be able to come together because, as I'm saying again, they, your family could have judged the situation, judged um, this person that you, um, you know, were looking at and they prevented you from going towards this person or really, ever really getting serious with this person because they didn't, um, they didn't feel like you guys were a match. Yeah, the community, definitely your family was involved with this decision that you made. Um, it kind of was like, it wasn't even your decision, it was more so your family's decision they didn't they didn't see you guys as you know the best um have the best compatibility especially because of your economic statuses that you both came from your backgrounds were totally different when it came to your statute and your status in life you are wealthy this person wasn't and so because of it they judged this person that you you know you could have had a lot of feelings for um this older man is definitely really judgmental and the mom she could have had nothing to say just because she could be the type who really respects her her husband doesn't really speak up she could love her children to death love her child but she's someone who does not you know go against this man and whatever his decision decisions are that's just what it is because he's the mature man he's a wise man she respects his mind she doesn't go against it he could be someone who is the breadwinner of the family or just someone who makes decisions for the family when it comes to finances They could have thought that if you got with this person that they were going to not only help you because they could also be helping you with finances, but as well as helping this woman because of you guys being together. Occupation. This could be, you know, um, pertaining to a job, um, whereas this person could not have a job that is ideal to what they um, view as, you know, feasible and what I mean feasible is just like um being able to make a lot from it and it's like something that is not doable something that is just like a waste of time yeah mature woman um there could have been um a um the woman they could have viewed this mature could have viewed this woman as not mature as well as the woman in his life could not be mature whereas she doesn't she doesn't make decisions as i'm saying earlier she could be someone who people make decisions for her we have the month of 12 here we have the number 12 that could be significant to the month of december 
as well as the month of um, we have number six. It could also be relevant to the month of six um, or they could have been making decisions for you since you are 18 when it comes to this aspect of relationships and you choosing women. Main male. You're definitely the main male. You're definitely this is regarding you and your choices and the choices that you make when it comes to women. It could be a detriment to you. We're going to take one more card and I'm going to close it out. Occupation um, is definitely um, there's a concern about this privileged lady in reverse occupation, the type of work she does, the type of work, um, you know, how she makes her money. And then you, you could be looking at her as someone you're not worried about how she works. I mean, like the type of work she does, how she makes her money, but you care about what your family thinks. And because you do, that holds you back. That's holding you back possibly from someone that you care about change but there's a change coming you're no longer worried about how your family view you know um the choices of the women that you choose to be with or you know the type of background that they come from you're more so making these choices and decisions based off of um how you feel in your heart your emotions towards a person or the people that you deal with again concerning the main male spirit can i get one more Hard to close this reading out for our fire, fire signs. What do you have to say to us? Again, this is heavily associated with work. That is the only thing that these your family members or these people that is involved in the situation and having to say so um, really cares about is how this person makes their money. They could be really materialistic. Again, the community card is coming out. Your family heavily has something to do with, you know, this woman not being able to be in your life. Are you guys not really going the distance and working it out? Community. That's the last card that I'm taking out. Number 39. Community card. So someone definitely, someone in this situation could be 45. Someone could be 51. Someone could be 23. All having a say so. Someone could be 44. But yeah, um, so the situation is pretty much definitely involved with your family having a say so and mattering about what other people think and mattering about how they're going to judge you and perceive you if you go forward with this relationship. And because of it, you were allowing it to hold you back. But um, at this point, you've had a change of heart of how you view things and people as well as, you know, what your family um, thinks about your choices and decisions that you make. You're no longer worried about it or holding on to their opinions any longer and more so stepping out and making decisions for yourself. And because of that decision and the choices that you're choosing to make now and at this time, I'm getting that you are um, heavily thinking about the decisions that you made and possibly regretting it. Um, you could be thinking long and hard about the decision that you made, feeling like it wasn't a wise decision um, for you to, you know, make a decision based off of what other people think instead of what you think and how you felt. And yeah, you could possibly, um, with Mercury retrograde coming up, and that is like um, a time when people go back, where exes come back together, you could possibly be trying to or looking forward to trying to um, speak to this privileged lady or, you know, recant things um, to how they ended up happening and, um, you know, rescinding on your word, meaning going back on it and whatever choices you made, actions you took, and basically going forward with, you know, seeing the possibilities of what could be there. 
But that is all that I have for you for my fire signs. And that is going to be for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I hope that you are able to make better decisions and your choices by having your own word, being your own man, you know, um, allowing your your heart to lead you and as well as making conscious wise decisions that is also attached to how you actually truly feel instead of allowing, you know, money or people um, who are already married and happy with within themselves to control and dictate your feelings and how, you know, the choices that you make when it comes to something that is so significant. Love is really a significant thing. Love is really a decision that has to ultimately be made by us instead of the, you know, the choices and, and decisions that other people make that they do not um, necessarily have to be a part of. You know, you create the world that you choose to create by making decisions for yourself and not make allowing anyone else to make those decisions for you that you will ultimately have to as you're doing now have to go back on them and end up going back or you know apologizing or whatever because you didn't make the a conscious decision and now um, this decision that you chose to make is actually bothering you and now you could be you know thinking of different ways of how you can get this person back into your life into good graces with them you know to changing things around to making them work out in you guys both of you guys favor i hope that you all have a great and prosperous and fulfilling day and please do make better decisions for yourself and do not allow anyone to dictate your life in the direction that it goes in you are allowed a love of a lifetime if you choose so um, to do so so please make the right decisions. Um, never do it based off of money because money is only temporary. But love can be up everlasting. Real love, true love is everlasting. And it's something that money can't be bought with. It is something that money, you can create love. You can create money with love, um, but you can't create love with money. So have a good day and be better. Do better. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow will be August 27th. It'll be Saturday. Hopefully you are in better graces. Okay. Bye.